Welcome to another of these reflections on hard sayings of Jesus. I'm personally not keen on the title hard sayings of Jesus because all that Jesus said was said out of love and for our own good. But what I've been asked to speak about is a phrase which comes from Matthew chapter 5 verse 48. Be perfect as a heavenly father is perfect. On first reading that, you'd think, well, this is totally unattainable. It can't be done. It's impossible. But it is often said that you shouldn't take a verse in isolation. You should read it in context. The context is a passage in the Sermon on the Mount when Jesus is talking about love, and he's talking about love for our enemies. And the word used in the Greek is agape. That is a very, very strong word. It's a word that speaks of love for another, that is totally unself-centered, totally focused on the other. And we are called to love with that sort of love. We are to regard the people whom we meet as those for whom Christ came and died. That is the nature of love that we're called to do. Now we can begin to move in that direction to an extent of our own efforts, but we'll only succeed in doing this if effectively we are magnetized by the love of God. If God draws us to himself, then we may be able to pour out love to others. That's the sort of love that God looks for. Be perfect, my verse says. Perfect means effectively to be made through or carried through. You and I were born for a purpose. We are made in the image of God and we're called to live out that purpose. Jesus, of course, on the cross said, it is finished. What he was saying was, it is carried through. I have come what I came, I have done what I came to do. And essentially the same word that Jesus used, finished, is the same word here, perfect. We are made perfect, we are perfected through faith in Christ. As many of you may know, there's a very colloquial translation of the Bible, which is called the message version. What we read in the message version is this. Your kingdom subjects now live like it. Live out your God-given identity. That is what perfection means. Living out our God-given identity. When we understand the call to be perfect, far from being an impossible task, I believe it should be seen as a gloriously liberating promise in any event implied. We are made perfect by God, by the work of Christ. We are called to be perfect and to live that out. And it is all through Christ and the work of the Holy Spirit. Seen in this light, as I say, be perfect as a heavenly father is perfect is surely a glorious promise. To which I can only finish by, to God be the glory. Amen. <laughs>